Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing, or er, ranking, every single Spider-Man movie and uh, Venom movie. I don't know why I let there be carnages in here, but we are going to do that. So, yeah, so let's start off with regular Spider-Man. Okay, so... Oh, uh, no, not D, sorry. It's either A or B, because, like, it's really good, but, like, it hasn't aged that well. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's still a good movie, but, like, it's kind of corny nowadays. Um, some people are probably going to get mad at me for saying that. Uh, I thought it was really good. Let's put it out of B tier. Like, this is, like, a solid Spider-Man movie. If your movie is, um, better than this, then it's a good Spider-Man movie. If it's worse than this, it's a bad. So, like, uh, next we have Spider-Man 2. This is S tier. A uh, really great movie. Uh, you know, deals with Peter's life really well. Uh, yeah. So, Spider-Man 3. I have actually not seen Spider-Man 3, but, um, I think, based on all the reviews I've seen, I think we should put it at, let's see, yeah, I think she's a good spot for it, alright, so, the Amazing Spider-Man, I've seen this one. Uh, this one? Yep, yep. I'm gonna give it a B. It was good. But like, um, it, it, it was it's just kind of like forgettable, I believe. It's really good though. Uh, I went for like a darker tone, but sometimes that just doesn't really work. Um, uh, so B. Now, The Amazing Experiment 2, probably a D. Uh, there were some good parts about it, but this has too many villains. You have Rhino, you got Green Goblin, and Electro, and all that. So, now we have the Spider-Man, the Spider-Verse. It's gonna be an S tier. That movie, watching it in theaters, was one of the coolest moments ever. That was really nice. Like, that was cool. Like, and the animation on that is like probably some of the best I've seen ever. So now we have Venom. Um, uh, either a C or a D for Venom. I'm gonna give it a C. Uh, it was a good movie, but I just. It's just something off about it, you know? Like, it doesn't feel it, like this, like, stupid... I don't know how to phrase it, but like, you know... Like... The part where Eddie's kissing a girl and I'm like, why? You know? Uh... <laughs> and like, when his, Eddie's eyes turn into Venom eyes, that's just like weird, you know? So, next we have Spider-Man Homecoming, give this an A, very good, the, yeah, um, great villain, great story, you know, uh, Far From Home, I give a B, it wasn't as good as Homecoming, and, uh, it just, like, they made like a joke out of everything in this movie, like there wasn't really any consequence, you know? Uh, it's always good when Spider-Man movies like have like, you know, like stakes. This one didn't really have any. Uh, it was a cool twist to have, you know, Mysterio, but like I'm pretty sure everyone saw that coming. And uh, yeah, so now we have No Way Home, which I just saw. That would be an S tier. Uh, and the front of the S tier. I might move these a little bit, 
like I'm gonna put this here uh this here and yeah so like the one here is the best out of every tier and uh no way home it was just like amazing i'm not gonna do any spoilers but you have like it's just like crazy like, there's so many moments where everyone just starts clapping and yeah it's crazy so thank you guys for watching i'll see you later